I want to wish all of you a Shana Tova from Jerusalem, the eternal united capital of the Jewish people and the Jewish state. A few uh, days ago, I asked on Facebook, what would you wish, what would you wish Israel for the new year? Well, the response was overwhelming. Uh, Cheryl de Vittorio asked that God grant us peace now and forevermore. Thank you, Cheryl. Anne Johnstone asked for a peaceful and blessed Rosh Hashanah. Thank you, Anne. And thank you all. There, there are so many of you, and I'm deeply moved, as are the people of Israel, for your, your friendship and your dedication, and may I say, your love. Uh, we share your desire for a better future for Israel and the Jewish people and for the Middle East as a whole. That region has now undergone an enormous turbulence since we last celebrated Rosh Hashanah. And what this turbulence uh, means is that we hope that the democratic forces, those who want freedom and peace, win the day, but we can't be sure. And there are other forces that want to bring back an even darker tyranny into the region. Uh, you can be sure that Israel is on the side of freedom and on the side of peace. But for there to be peace, Israel has to be strong. People make peace with the strong. They don't make peace with the weak. They push the weak aside. Uh, and for Israel to remain strong, we have to continue to build our economy, uh, our education, our relations with our friends around the world, and to convince the world of the reality and the sincerity of our desire for peace. I tried to do that at the UN the other day. I extended my hand in peace to the Palestinian Authority's uh, president. Uh, so far, he hasn't responded, but we hope maybe in the next year that he will. And for that peace to endure, for that peace to take shape, the Palestinians finally have to recognize what all of you recognize, that Israel is the Jewish state, that the Jewish people, after all their travails, after all their agonized odyssey through the century, deserve their one and only place under the sun in the land of Israel, the state of Israel. Uh, I know that, uh, that this is very dear to you, but I think it's also very dear to fairness and to the truth and the common sense that must accompany peace. The Palestinians finally have to do what they refuse to do throughout the decades, recognize the one and only Jewish state. And if they do, then I think we'll have a very, very good year. Shana Tova to all of you.